To write the balanced net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus sulfuric acid, we first need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and all we really need to do is put a coefficient of 2 in front of the nitric acid. So we've balanced the molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. That looks like this. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the nitrate ion are very soluble. So we write AQ for the calcium nitrate. Sulfuric acid and nitric acid are both strong acids. That means they're strong electrolytes and they'll dissociate into their ions. So we write AQ for those. But calcium sulfate, sulfates in general are soluble with a few exceptions and calcium sulfate is one of the exceptions. If you looked on a solubility table, it would say SS, slightly soluble. That means when these two substances react, a little bit of this will dissolve, but most of it will fall to the bottom as a precipitate. So for the purposes of net ionic equations, slightly soluble, we treat that as a solid, as a precipitate. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for a complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So the reactants here on the top, products on the bottom. I can see that I have two nitrate ions right here in the reactants and again in the products. So these are spectator ions. We'll cross these out. Two hydrogen ions right here. Again, in the products, cross that out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus sulfuric acid. Let's remove these spectator ions. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus H2SO4. You'll note atoms, they're balanced, and the charge is balanced. We have 2 plus, 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0. And then over here, this is neutral, net charge of 0. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.